Hey everyone, this video is going to be about fixing a tight, what do you call this, a bathtub, uh, I don't even know what it's called, a bathtub lever, uh, a drain lever, a tub lever, a stop lever. So th this is the thing that, okay, it's kind of tight. It's kind of tight going down. It's very, it pops up very easily. And what you have, let me see if I can get the camera down there. So normally you've got this thing down here, which has got a massive amount of hair. And I'm not going to go into much except you can take the screw out and clean it out. And then you've got this, let's get the camera positioned again. And you got this lever over here. And it's kind of weird, but neat how this lever works. What this lever does is it goes and it has some mechanism that's got a round piece down at the bottom. And that plugs the pipe. So you got the drain over here. The drain at the bottom of the tub actually has a pipe that goes this way. It's a round pipe that goes this way. So this plunger goes down and blocks the water from coming out or from draining or lets it drain. So it's kind of tight over here. Usually you don't want to mess with these things. You, you might replace the front over here, which has a cotter pin on there. I don't want to do any of that. I just want to open this thing up and see if I can find what's causing this problem. You know, like I say with all my videos, I have no clue what I'm doing, and you probably don't either. You wouldn't be watching the video. So take your chance and try to fix it. And if you can't fix it, then you call a plumber. But don't go out and spend $100 on a plumber in the beginning. Just don't do more damage. That's the whole key. But you don't learn unless you try. So you got to try to do this stuff and see if you can fix it. A lot of weight on there. Hey, I've watched a bunch of videos that make a big deal about put your screws here because you're going to have to put them back. Yeah, well, obviously. So if you like my videos, you know the routine. Thumbs up, subscribe, or like. If you want to donate to my channel, ask for my PayPal info. I save you a billion dollars in plumbing fees. And if you want, uh, if you have a product you want me to review, if I can get a hold of it, I'll do a review. Um, all right, so there we go. Take out the two screws. And then, like I said, you've got this little lever over here, lever or whatever you want to call it. And you're just going to raise this thing up. The stuff goes all the way down to the bottom by the drain down there. And so you really don't have to be that careful about what you're doing. It just comes out. It, like I say, it goes all the way down into the drain. So you just have to be careful about pulling this thing out. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So don't never force things when you're trying to fix something. And this looks really good from what I can see. All right, now we're starting to get some gunk in here. So we got, that's the whole thing. So all that all that's happening is this plunger or whatever this is goes in and blocks the, the drain and stops the water. There are adjustments over here. You really don't want to screw with this unless you need to. And if you do, it's all trial and error. If it doesn't drain enough, you have to adjust the two things over here. If it drains too, uh, too much, then you have to adjust it. But you really don't want to mess with anything. When you're going to be replacing these things, normally all you'll do is you buy a new front piece, new lever, lever, go in there, and um, there's a cotter pin in over here. Can you see the cotter pin? Let's zoom in. Let's get the cotter pin. I know the lights, lighting's bad here. Sorry, it's not my house. It's a cotter pin, so what you do is you take out the cotter pin, you just pull this thing out over there, and you put your new plate on there, put the cotter pin in, and throw this back in. So this isn't really that dirty. It's not really that clean. But sometimes you might want to lubricate this. It might help. It might not. You might want to put some plumber's grease on there. Maybe not. Um, some, this isn't going to cause a problem with it working well. Let's check out over here. Okay, so this is where the problem is. You can see it, it's kind of tight over here. It's kind of binding. Hear it? Let's see, let's get it. It would help if I had it in the camera view. It's binding over there. It's tight over in here. And like I said, I do not want to go out and tear this thing apart and spend money to fix it. All I'm going to do is take some silicone lubrication. Lubrication is very important in life. Um, so I'm going to put some lubrication on this. And this is uh, silicone. You don't want to use something like the big W because that is a degreaser. 
and you're not trying to degrease, you're trying to lubricate. So you just saw how, how tight it was for me to do this and I put this stuff on. Let's see if it made a difference. It's a lot, oh yeah, it's starting to break loose now. Okay, so it's tight. The ball in there, there's a little ball joint in there and that was gunked up. So let's get a little bit more of this spray in there and see if we can get this thing moving now. There it is, fixed. Fixed, it, it, it's not binding, it's old. This is old, this is probably 25 years old. Um, but that's a little tight, but I fixed it. I fixed it enough that it's good. I, I don't, the, the spring over here is kind of catching. And I, like I said, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna tear this thing apart. I just wanna make it easier. And now I'm on, it doesn't even make sense to take all this dirt off because there's not much dirt. This ball, this thing is clean. So I'm just going to put this back in the hole. You always want to put it in the hole after you lubricate the, uh, the parts. And you just let it drop back in place. And there we go. Uh, you might want to clean up some of this dirt over here. I watched a video where the guy spent about three minutes clean, cleaning this. It was pretty funny. Um, okay, so I got the screws. Hey, leave good comments. I can't stand when people say, why do you have so many ads in your video? Thanks for helping me. Don't put that many ads on your video. I hate it. Well, then don't watch my video. All right, so I'm popping the screws back in here. Is that one going in? Screws never want to go in. They never want to go in easily. Okay, I think now you got it in the hole. It's always important to, after you lubricate and you insert the thing in the tub to uh, screw the screws in properly. Go slow, line it up. Don't just torque one down and then the other. This is a little tight, this is a little binding. Um, put it back in the same way you took it out. It's a little gap down at the bottom. So this, I don't know if this is going in on an angle or if it's stripped. Definitely don't want to strip it. So that's why you want to go slow and be careful. I got lubrication all over my fingers. Yikes. Um, okay, so it's tight. And if you weren't going to do it, if you were going to replace that part, you would just take the, you go to the store, you buy it, and you take the cotter pin out. But unless it's really old or you need to, uh, it's corroded, you probably don't have to do that. You can just do what I did. Looks like it's a little on an angle. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, people will say, you could have done that in 20 seconds. Why did you spend 15 minutes doing a video? Because it's my channel and I want it to. That's why. Nobody made you watch. All right. Now, I don't know if it's going to make a difference, but with lubrication all over my fingers, let's see. Did this do any good? It did a lot. It's a lot better. It's It binds a little bit over here. Now I'm going to go in here now, and I'm, I've, I've already done this with the spray. Chances are I could have done this without taking it apart, but go in there, put a little bit of lube in there. Did that make a difference? And it's spinning. It's, there's a little slop in this thing, but I almost wasn't able to e easily do this before, and now it's just a little heavy, but it's not that big of a deal. So what I'm going to do is turn off the camera for a minute. There we go. I had to wash the lubrication off my fingers so I could finish this. Now, usually when you're fixing something, the more you push to do a better job, the more damage you cause, which is never a good thing. So, uh, let's get down over here. I'm going to go down to the drain. I'm just going to take off the cover. If the screw feels like it's too tight and you think you're going to break it, you might want to just leave it alone unless you really need to do this. Hold on to the screw. You don't want it to fall on down through the holes. It shouldn't. They designed this right. But I've got the screw. It's a little corroded. Um, let me go see if I can take this off. Sometimes it's held on with putty. And uh, I wish that I could get a camera in here. I'm going to get a camera. I'm going to get the camera in here. Uh, I wish I had better lighting. Hold on a minute. Now the lighting is not that good, but I think we've got some gunk in here. And some dried hair. We got a lot of a lot of dried. Not not it's not too bad. 
If I had better lighting, you'd be able to see. It's not really too bad. There's not that much corrosion on the pipe. There's not that much hair on there. Um, that's, that's what it looks like in the pipe. That kind of dirt. And this is when you'd want something like that D-spray because it's a... Uh, it's going to go in there and it's a degreaser. It's going to clean this out. But I'm going to go in there and try to clean that out a little bit. See if I can get better lighting. I think that's going to come out on the camera a little better. It's mostly just dirt. A lot of dirt. So I'm going to go put some spray in here. Get it cleaned up. Put the screw back on. And then end the video. And that's it. Lots of gunk. Lots of just dried hair and soap and grease. You can use cleanser if you need to clean this. This pipe's not really that bad. I'm sure as it gets further down, there is a mass. I can feel the hair down there right below the little catch. There's a lot of hair down there. Um, and that's when you're going to need one of those little cheapy snakes to get in there just to grab the hair and pull it back up. Otherwise, you leave it alone if it's not causing a problem. And after that, you take this cover, you put the screw back in, and you're done. So that is how you fix this little thing over here. And thanks for watching my videos. Make sure you watch all my other amazing videos on my channel so we can get this channel to go viral and I can become famous. Hey, thanks again. Bye.